Welcome back to nine on your side at six o'clock. You know, for a person in a wheelchair, not having a sidewalk can be a huge safety issue. One Reading woman says she puts her life at risk every time she takes her chair to the store. So Margaret Long contacted the Houston I Have a Problem crew for help. So nine on your side anchor Ryan Houston got to work for an answer. This is how Margaret Long gets around these days and has been ever since the 90s. I was shot in the neck, paralyzed, chest down. So other than that, you know, I've been living my life from a wheelchair. And she still lives a normal life. She goes around speaking to youth groups about the real life consequences of gun violence. Long wants to do as much as she can on her own, like go to the store. Once you pass that six light, you got to jump out in the street and then jump back on the sidewalk and there's still no sidewalk look gravel by the pawn shop. Starting at the carousal land on Reading Road, there is no sidewalk for several blocks. This means Margaret and her chair are in the middle of traffic if she wants to go to the store. Now I turn my like, oh my God, you know, I didn't know they were close to me. And I was stopping there, go around, or they're just ride slow and watch us ride, go around. And some of them will help us, stay behind us so when no other car come up on us. She called for help and I went to see the Ohio Department of Transportation. Essentially from Sunnybrook Drive, I believe, up to like 126. Now, on the other side of 126, as I understand, there are sidewalks. Brian Cunningham with ODOT District 8 says this stretch of road is their responsibility. He says the department will submit an application to put in a sidewalk, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. There are utility poles that have to be moved. Okay, There's right. a fire hydrant that has to be accounted for. So we're looking at probably two years or so if we receive the funding. Long says it's worth the wait because her life could be depending on it. ODOT says the application will be submitted by the end of September and the statewide safety team will review it and make a decision by mid-December on which projects get funding. And as always, if you have a problem and need some help, email Houston at WCPO.com or leave a message at 513-852-1360 for Houston. I have a problem.